Time for sports with Myra and all things hack and hogline and house and hurry hard. There's a lot of H's in curling. There's tons of H's. House, hogline, hack, you name it, AJ. But it's official. Victoria is the center of the curling universe for the next nine days anyway. Some of the top teams from around the globe have arrived on Vancouver Island for the 2013 Ford World Men's Curling Championship starting tomorrow and running through to next Sunday. Twelve ranks will compete for curling's top prize. And all teams got the chance to test the frozen waters for the first time this afternoon. There's our Canadian team, the Brad Jacobs rink from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, making their world curling debut on home soil. Young Skip has cousins Ryan and EJ Harden up front. And then the vice, or the third, right there. Ryan Fry is no relation, but he does have ice water running through his veins. The 34-year-old is the elder statesman on this team and brings the most experience to the game. It's not anything specific that I brought, it's just we have four guys that gel and uh, we, made a, we made a very good team and everyone took over their positions, uh, you know, with EJ and Ryan having to move down positions and everyone accepted it and, you know, uh, we're, we're a very tight team so I think that that's more, uh, it was just a missing piece to what their team already had. Yes, 34 elder statesmen. There is a big youth movement taking place at this World Championships. And a new attitude. The Finnish team has a new look. None more noticeable than their second. Yes, he's the one with the dreadlocks. Also sports a pair of earrings and a tongue piercing. Now, he doesn't quite fit the old curling mold, does he? Until he tells you his name. Uh, yeah, it means. It means Iceman in Finnish. Really? Yeah, it means Iceman. That's awesome. <laughs> Are you the Iceman? Uh, to some extent, yeah. I gotta say, you don't look like a curler. Uh, yeah, we, we, we are a rare, rare species, us with dreads, but actually there's one more player in Finland who has the same hair. So you're a flashy, a flash and dash kind of guy? I, can, I guess you could say that, yeah. What about on the ice? On ice, um, I'm mostly pissed. <laughs> really? Yeah. Why? Uh, if I'm throwing bad or if someone else is throwing bad, yeah. And when you're out there, are you there to win? Of course we are. We're not here to be tourists or anything. Yeah, why would you come to Victoria to be a tourist? The nine-day curling craze gets started tomorrow. 11.30, we kick things off with the opening ceremonies. Canada's first game goes at 2 p.m. against China. And then on Sunday, they will face David Murdoch from Scotland. Hockey now, great crowd at Barry Mountain Arena, hoping that the Royals can pull even in their series with the Kamloops Blazers and those Royals. But have to rely on the likes of Jamie Crooks and Logan Nelson to fill the void offensively left by... Brandon McGee, he was out with an injury. Four minutes into the game, Logan Nelson and Jamie Crooks. How you like that? One nothing Royals. Royals get on the power play. Six minutes later, Stephen Hodges to Logan Nelson. No Gogolev, no McGee. No problem. Two nothing for the home team. Dying seconds of the period, though. The loops get one back. Kale Casey all alone to stuff home the rebound. Two one in the first. Casey tied it in the second before the Royals tapped into more of that secondary scoring. Tyler Soy with the shot. Brandon Fushimi with the rebound. Soy Fushimi, what a delicious combination. Royals. Later in the second, though, Kale Casey. Kale, more than a nutritional powerhouse. He's got the hat trick, and we are tied at threes. Royals had plenty of pushback on the night. Ben Walker on the power play. It's going to make it 4-3. Where are all these goals coming from? And we're just about to party. However. The Blazers are going to tie this game up in the third period with under five minutes to play. And out shoot the Royals 2-1 to one on one of those shots in OT. Eluded Patrick Polivka, Captain Dylan Willick right there. Royals are on the brink. 3-1 series lead. Game two, four, five tomorrow in Kamloops. Well, we are down to the final four in the BCHL playoffs. After two hard-fought series, the Alberni Valley Bulldogs the last island team standing. They have a good Friday date with the Surrey Eagles. Games one and two of the Coastal Conference Final Series goes tonight and tomorrow on the mainland. Surrey will be a well-breasted bunch. Their last game was on Monday. As for the dogs, get this. Counting tonight's game, they will have played 11 games in 15 nights. Well, the trade deadline is looming. Corey Schneider keeps winning, and Roberto Luongo could be headed to Toronto. There are plenty of reports that say Canucks GM Mike Gillis is making one final push to trade Louie to the Leafs before Wednesday's deadline. Schneider has backstopped the Canucks to a season-high six-game winning streak, allowing only six goals over that span, further entrenching his status as the team's number one. Yeah, I haven't spoken to Mike in a while, so um, like I said, I, I don't know what's, what's going on. 
what's going to happen. I don't really want to speculate. I just want to focus my attention right now on um, being a Vancouver Canuck. It's been a long time coming, so, um, you know, obviously it's something uh, that you, uh, you know, you expect uh, one way or the other, you know, kind of like Iggy, like they told him that he was probably going to get traded a month in advance. So, uh, you know, in situations like that, I don't think really you could get blindsided. Well, finally, if day one of the school cycling season is any indication, it has never been cooler to be on a bike on Vancouver Island. Behold, Bike Jam. Cycling of every sort was on display around Juan de Fuca Rec as the kickoff event for the school cycling season for districts 61, 62, and 63. Cyclocross, mountain biking, track cycling, BMX, freestyle, you name it. Kids got to try it all under beautiful spring sunshine. Victoria presents opportunities like this that you don't get anywhere else. Um, we, we do have a town, it's Canada's cycling capital, it's known for that. And so we're really keen on getting our youth exposed to as much of that as possible and giving them the opportunities to uh, achieve some pretty amazing things. There's some unbelievable riders in Victoria. There's, there's some local semi-pros here and the kids are, are throwing down better than I've seen anything in years. All the kids are absolutely ecstatic about this airbag. They've never seen anything like this before, and they're just excited to throw their meat, do whatever they can in this airbag, and try and learn new tricks. And the next cycling event on the calendar is the Skills Jam. That takes place April 10th at Heartland Landfill. Excited about the old curling there, AJ? Uh, I'm more of a briar guy. I'm, I'm on that. I'm part of the, you know, the teams from Europe, I'd rather watch the Stoutons and the Martins. And all right, we're being all told right. to wrap this up. So My curling opinions don't yeah, matter. We're, we're done here. It's we're done. Thanks, okay. Myra. You're welcome.